Hello, my beautiful words of love. My name is Sabrina and welcome to this Let's Talk where we're going to talk about reprogramming our computer system that's within our bodies, right? Within our physical vessels. So a lot of you who watch me already, um, welcome. And also thank you, uh, welcome to the new visitors and new followers. Share, like, comment, subscribe, people. <laughs> I've talked about this in a lot of previous videos where I always talk about my cancel, clear, delete program <laughs> and my uh, the fact that we are uh, in a program, right? Everything, are, everything is an automatic response. Everything is, um, we're here on this earth right now in the process of deleting this program. And a lot of us are fully aware of that. We're moving into this. And I'm going to talk about uh, automatic responses, which I've talked about in other videos too, but I'm going to bring it all up here and I'm going to find like um, some proactive ways to catch ourselves in these response times, <laughs> right? Automatic responses are, oh, hi, how are you? Fine. Hi, how are you? Good. What are you doing? Nothing. <laughs> You know, and really you are doing a lot, right? Most of us, it's just like, it's so, it's like almost second nature to us to say fine, good, all of this. Ha, have a good day. Have a day. Like, like if someone were to ask you and you say, hi, hi, how are you, Sabina? And like, I'm really not doing well because my energies are all over the roof. And then I, 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 you can go on and on and on. They'd be like, most people are triggered by what you say. <laughs> most people are like, I really don't want to hear all of that, right? Because most of us don't. It's like you, the how are you is an automatic too. Do you because do you actually care how this person is? You know this is like and it's, it is it mean to not care how this person is? We're all like all these limited belief systems are always constantly bombarding us every single day, keep us keep keeping us in this kind of routine, keeping us in this like well this is what you're supposed to do, right? And that's we're here to shake things up a little bit. We're here to deprogram that and not get triggered by someone who doesn't say hello, how are you? <laughs> or not get triggered by any of it. Cancel, clear, delete is my favorite program, which I've been using for years now, where there's something that comes up and I realize that I just was robotic about it or I realized that I really don't like the feeling that just came up and I cancel, clear, delete it. Like, you know, cancel, clear, delete. <laughs> on a computer like a, a keyboard and it works and now it's almost i pretty much programmed my ego to fully understand that command that's what it is like okay we're out of here <laughs> right? so how many of you respond with automatic responses like I've, I've talked about this so many videos and you've listened to my videos too but do you still find yourself in that place and like what is it that's triggering you like um it's also, it, like I'm doing the same thing. I do the same thing, but I catch myself now. It's like awareness is key in this kind of situation. It's like where, what, the more that you are able to um, stand in that awareness of that automatic response, even as simple as higher, why are you, I'm fine. You can, you can. The more that we reprogram ourselves, the more we clear. It facilitates the clearing of the body which is the goal, right? We're here to clear all this information from our bodies. We're not here to hold on to anything because we want to um, unbox the inner wisdom that is coming in from solar activity, coming in from activations, coming in with blueprints, with coding. And here we're still fully uh, flooded with information. And you're like, well, it's just a, it's just a fine, Sabina. It's not just a fine. It means that you, like, we have, a, it's like a knee-jerk reaction. I got that from someone. It's like, obviously, you're going to just kick your knee. I said, but you could teach your knee not to jerk, to, to, to do that reaction. And they're like, no, no, no. I said, yeah, you could teach anything. You could teach your body how to respond. You could teach your mind how to respond. So this is, the, this is what the video is. I want to explore this a little bit deeper. So, like, let's take fear which is the number one blockage in all humans. Fear is, um, 
keeps you stuck in a loop, right? Keeps you in avoidance, keeps you in this limited belief system, keeps you in this box fear. It, 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 you're, you're inhibited from you're like uh, moving into your full potential when you're in fear mode. What can you do with fear? So let's say fear, you have fear uh, shows up in your relationship. You know, you want, you need to express yourself in your relationship, but you, you just can't because you're afraid of being alone. You're afraid of being yelled at. You're, you're afraid of rejection. You're afraid of, you know, all of all the fears. So in that moment, you need to approach your partner. Can you take a step back, stop, breathe, and, um, acknowledge that that fear is building up because how is the the fear feeling in your body where where in your body is fear showing up is it like you feel tightness in the chest you're sweating you have a headache like is your stomach hurting you know there's so many the physical systems of it and the emotional system it's to be aware of all of it it's really uh you're like well that's a lot of information but it's happening and that's how we can um that's how we can um, diminish our automatic responses is by being aware of the symptoms and the triggers and what's coming up in our bodies. So fear is bringing up all of this. So you stop, you, you acknowledge the fear, you love the fear, you love the, your partner, you laugh if you would like, because I do a lot of laughing at <laughs> my emotions, but you don't have to, right? These are just, or, and you, to me, I, I, I um, you could pick up an object or a small crystal or a ring or a bracelet, and that'll be your fear uh, object, right? And then you're like, well, I can't really be carrying this around with me all the time, so be not like, totally, pick a color, you know, purple. When I think of fear, I think of purple, right? And yes, because purple, and you can talk to your purple and you can ask for comfort and you can ask it for um, support. We're going to talk to our color? Yes, because color is energy, right? So whatever it is, you can look at a photo on your phone, look at that and it and pr program your mind that when you see that photo and when you see that color purple and when you see that crystal that I'm cancel clear, clear deleting my fear. And with every single moment that you are afraid and you do this command, which is repetitive, right? And you're like, well, it's robotic again, but it's not. You're, you're, you're trying to diminish the roboticism of it by being fully aware of it. And slowly and slowly, you'll notice you're, you'll be less and less afraid. And that, that program will begin to like clear. And you won't even have to do these steps because the fear will come up and you'll, you'll almost like automatically think purple or you'll automatically like stand in the awareness of it, laugh at it, whatever you do, it's gonna die down a bit. It'll diminish. It'll, it's, it'll collapse. It will, have, it will have no power. And that's what we're trying to do here, right? So um, I just go cancel, clear, delete, and I laugh. And I'm like, oh, uh-uh, I ain't going to be afraid here. But these are like emotions. And um, your physical body could, like I said before, the, the physical symptoms is like, let's say I'm going to give another example, which is something that I'm dear at heart with. <laughs> I have like... I public speaking and me are not friends. So like I can I can I can talk in front of a camera no problem. I can talk with friends no problem. It put me on a stage with 5 people, 10 people, 100 people and I freeze, right? I get like uh, anxious. I'm like sweaty. I my head is like I can't see I can't see anymore. My heart is pounding like racing. There's a lot happening. Physically, the triggers are there. But I am learning to um, diminish those triggers as well, those physical symptoms, by um, laughing at it. Right? And also now what I do more and more, 
when I'm in com uncomfortable situations, whether it's that anxiety, whether it's uh, rejection, whether it's guilt, or shame, or anger, whatever, I say, I'm like, I'm a star. I'm a bright star in a human vessel. Like I really make, like I make it light. And then I laugh, I'm like, yo man, are you really afraid of this? Are you really like worried about getting rejected here? Are you really, you know, we are, um, like imagine all these things, like whatever it is that would make you laugh, that would make you smile, you know, like revert the energy. And you, I cancel clear deletes. I'm, I'm, I'm constantly doing that. There's so much deleting happening in the programming. <laughs> it's hilarious. I'm like, wow, <laughs> cancel clear delete, cancel clear delete. A lot of people carry crystals with them. A lot of people uh, wear necklaces perhaps or and you can associate that with um, the fear of public speaking you can the judgment guilt uh, well, like I said grief you know there's moments where um, you, some of you have lost a lot of people in your life and you're it comes back you know I, I, that grief comes back every once in a while for me too but now it's easier and easier and easier because I look at it differently and also I uh, I'm more I I'm like compassionate with myself Right? It, the more compassionate, the more love we bring up, the more compassionate you are with others as well, the less and less you feel these energies in motion, right? These, these emotions. The less you feel the physical triggers because your mind is in, in the reprogramming stage, your mind is already um, catching on to this because you're being a little bit repetitive of it as well, like laughing. <laughs> like I'm a bright star in a vessel or I um, I'm like focusing on this color purple and purple to me is going to bring me to calm a state of calm when I'm in fear mode right it's like whatever it is color you want whatever you like whatever object you want doesn't have to be an object it could be just I'm gonna hug myself you know I'm gonna love myself it's like um, a movement but whatever it is it's nothing you're not yelling at yourself you're not making you're not um you're not um engaging in the dense emotions of it i just got like a, a like a, a ball that just released <laughs> inside me so maybe someone here needed to hear that but it's like there's a, a full release that just happened here so there's objects so there's objects that you can use there's um cancel clear delete like commands that you can use but can you, you can also do um physical activity right so you're standing backstage and you're getting ready re getting ready to go on and you're sweating and you're done you're like Ugh. so move your arms you know make make the command be that when i move my arms up and down or left and right that I am in full release mode and that the fear is depleting from my, deleting from my system. You know, uh, pick up, a, pick up a, um, a paper and doodle. You know, I don't know about you, but doodling is like amazing. <laughs> For me, it like totally takes me away from another world. You know, you're like um, painting, uh, talking to your plants. There's so many things that we can do. We can do somatic healing practices, which is uh, Tai Chi or Qigong or yoga. Obviously this is when you have like time on your hands and you're not in a situation where it's like, okay, in five minutes, you gotta get up and speak to the audience or in uh, you're in a fight with someone. It's like, excuse me one second, I need to stop. I need to breathe. I, I totally get it. A lot of a lot of these emotions are coming at you in a split second, and you have to figure it out. That's why I always say cancel, clear, delete, or I I picture a color, or I picture something, I visualize, or I'm carrying the crystal with me, and I just grab it, and I and it's the program that you put in the crystal. Like I program you. Like this is us being. We have to give commands. I program this citron. You know, I program this fluorite to help me, support me when I am feeling fearful. You know, and I just commanded this, so <laughs> now I know this. And you're gonna help me through this and you're gonna calm my nervous system down. 
So every time I'm in fear mode and I am like, it doesn't have to be this big, obviously, it's like a smaller one, you say it and it will automatically do that because this is the connection we have to crystals and this is the connection we have to things, objects, which people don't understand, that we have the connection to, to for everything, to color, to words. We have that connection because we are powerful beings of light. So use these uh, connective resources to help you through these emotions, through these physical triggers, you know, through these blockages. <laughs> it's so weird, just that moment. <laughs> I don't know if you saw that. That was hilarious. This is like what I use. I use I'm using QuickTime video for this one, and it's so funny. Anyways. Setting boundaries is a big, uh, is a huge thing here when you are in programming mode, a reprogramming, because there will be people around you that um, will constantly um, make fun of this, by the way, 100%. It, don't tell people what you're doing. Do these things for yourself. No one will fully understand. No one will understand that you're in a program, that we are all in programs. This is not to be shared to, you know, everyone, unless you want to, right? You can do whatever you want. But <coughs> I know when I talk programming, I get the nod of the head or I get the eye roll or I get whatever it is. And it's fine. To me, it works. To me, I am fully, when I say cancel, clear, delete, it's like, boom, <laughs> it's been deleted. And then it comes back again. And then I say, cancel, clear, delete. And it, get, it weakens. You understand? It weakens that emotion. And it's not like, <coughs> sorry. And I remain, I'm going to drink some water. And I only like remain in fear for a very short period of time. It's not like I'm in it for like minutes or like mi hours. I'm in it for like seconds now. And I'm like, oh, okay. That's how powerful your commands can be. So I, I, I said some of my commands, but you can do whatever commands you want. You know, you could do uh, delete three times, delete, 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 or <laughs> you can do, I don't know, whatever you want. You can say whatever you want. You can ask whatever you want, but always in, your, in, in, um, in service of yourself, right? And always with full of love and compassion to yourself and to the others. Right? But mostly to yourself, because this is your command of your program. Your robot is being reprogrammed. Oh, journaling and writing is also a big one. I wrote things down because I, I, I tend to forget these things. Like rearranging and organizing is another part. Like, uh, like I was, um, I don't know if I said this in a video recently, but <laughs> I feel like I did. But... Um, I have a storage closet, a little room, and I, I eyed it yesterday, and I was like, oh, you're gonna be my meditation next week. I'm gonna totally empty you out and rearrange you. And that's, for me, it's a form of meditation. It's a form of um, reprogramming, again, the um, because every time I go in there, I get triggered because it's like messy. and So I'm reprogramming that part of me, right? Everything is a trigger and everything is a program. I hate to repeat this name, a word over and over again, but it really is that. And it's finding these techniques for yourself, these grounding techniques. If we have more time and you're not fully like needing an app to give an answer right away or whatever, you to me it's like i stop and i stand and sit in the awareness of it like um i could give you an example of feeling rejected let's say um you know there's someone that you would like them to look at you in their in your eyes <laughs> or you there's someone that uh, you asked out and they said no and you're like oh okay you know at the moment you're uh, but at that moment you stop you take a breath and I say, I am a bright star in a big, in a, in a physical vessel. And are you for real that you're, that's okay. This is probably the best blessing that you ever had, Sabrina. So, you know, I, uh, I 
look at my uh, purple or my look at my yellow or I look at my green and I say, okay, it calms me down or I just cancel, clear, delete this rejection and I say it's all good and I'm moving forward, <laughs> right? But I feel the feels. That's something I, didn't, I haven't, like I, you acknowledge the feeling of rejection and you feel the feel. It's not, it's not about you just rejecting it and saying, okay, I'm angry, okay, bye. It's feeling the anger, feeling the sadness, feeling the shame, feeling the guilt, loving it, loving the fear, loving the, ga the, the, the sadness, loving the hate, loving the worry, and hugging yourself and doing whatever it is and, and releasing and moving forward. The more you do this, the more your body understands what it is you're doing. Oh, she's hugging herself because she feels unsafe. Oh, she's hugging herself because she's feeling um, rejected, right? And it's like, okay. And that's how we do it. And it's like, it's, it's as simple as that, but it's not that simple. Because these are lifetimes and lifetimes of energies and uh, stuck in our bodies. And we're learning how to release them. But it takes time and it takes like work. So you're like, uh, uh, uh. And it's taken me a long, long time, years, to get to a place where fear is very short-lived. But it's the work. And never get upset at your automatic response. Let's say you go out and you're like, how are you? And you say, I'm fine. And, you're like, and you'll catch yourself in these moments more and more and more don't get your, go, don't get upset at yourself that you're like being a robot you know but stand in the awareness of it say oh fuck, i see it now cancel clear deletes oops you know and it's okay you have the power to change your robotic response system i just created this new rrs your robotic response system. you have the power to change it to a more grounded one so take that opportunity to change it for you Right? You don't have to change it at all. You could say, you know what, Asmina, I don't care about saying fine and good and whatever. Who am I to tell you otherwise? So as a lot of people know, I love doing etymology with words. And uh, I, I, when I was uh, writing down things and I was doing a little bit of research of things, I, I saw mindful, mindful, mindful. So I said, oh, mindful. So let's look at mindful. Mind. It's your brain, your ego, right? It's your intellect. Full. Mindful, the meaning, the meaning of mindful is conscious and aware and being in the present moment, right? But if you take mind, it's your brain, it's your ego. Full, <laughs> which is having no empty space. So how funny is that, right? So it means like it's a full mind. Cluttered, conditioned, programmed. <laughs> Yet mindful is like peace in the present moment. It's so funny the inversions of these words. And then I was I was um, a few days ago I was having a self talk, and I come conversation. Con is to persuade or deceive. Verse is a, a, a getting acquainted with knowledge. So conversation is not wanting to learn knowledge <laughs> it's like, like it's like shaping it's influencing people with your words right it's like shaping belief systems with your words by by deception again these like things <laughs> it's so funny to me anyways i thought that was really interesting i had to bring that up because um just because you know me i just bring things up so this is i'm gonna leave you with this today this is really like short and sweet it's actually only it's already 25 minutes i can't believe i'm talking that much <laughs> and, um i'll leave you here i i feel like um the more and more we reprogram the program the more and more clear you get, the more the easier and easier this journey gets, and it's it, it actually helps you to stand to become more aware of 
the words that are coming out of your mouth and, and also the triggers, the body physical responses. It, it changes everything because you, you become like self-aware and you become more loving towards yourself. And the goal is to love yourself fully and completely. To be able to fully and lovely complete, love everyone else, come fully and completely love everyone else as well. So this is the Let's Talk of the Week. I hope this helps you. Um, I know a lot of you already know this, but it's always a good reminder because I, I, we do fall backwards all the time and we end up like these uh, doing these automatic responses all the time. And I, I catch myself so quickly now. And I literally am so annoying. And when people say, ah, how are you? I'm actually like giving it to them. <laughs> <laughs> telling everything so I brought out cards actually I'm gonna pull out a card I was gonna do a, a reading I'll pull out one card for the collective to see where we're at right now the courageous peony multifaceted unique nature let yourself be seen yes man right how are you I feel like shit <laughs> let yourself be seen Big picture thinking, visionary inspired ideas. Love it. I love these. These are beautiful together. It's like it for us, it's time to see the big picture. For us, it's time to start stepping outside of this robotic automa automation of our lives, right? And I'm going to give you a little, like, I'm going to extend this video a little bit. So, um, there's so much talk about AI out there, like, oh my God, it's going to take over the world. It's going to take over. It only is gonna, it's only going to take over the world if you allow it to, right? And AI, to me, it, it, it is helping us to not do the menial things anymore. So, instead of looking at it as a bad thing, look at it as a good thing, okay? You want AI? To, AI could be the robot. Let AI be the robot. You are the OI. You are the original intelligence. So now it's time to clear the OI. Let the AI take over all the robotics it needs to take over. Right? And it's your time to clear your OI. All right, my beautifuls. I love you so, so much. Like I said at the beginning, do your, you can join, like, share, comment, subscribe. Also join my Kofi membership where I give exclusive content on a monthly basis. And also check out my weekly tower readings, which come out on Saturday nights. Um, Eastern time and um, check out my podcast too, which will, I have a schedule that will be coming up soon. All right. I love you and be good to yourself. Be kind to yourself. Hug yourself. Um, don't get upset at yourself when you fall into traps and when you fall into fear mode and when you fall into guilt and shame and blame. Don't get upset at yourself acknowledge it, love it, you know, feel it, hug it out and move on. Boom. All right. I love you. Bye.